Hey everybody, how you doing? In today's video, we're comparing two 308 rounds. One in a soft point, one in a full metal jacket round. This video is from a viewer request, so I wanted to make this video happen. Which rounds are we comparing today? We are comparing the Super X Power Point versus the Monarch full metal jacket. Let's take a quick look at the ballistics of these rounds. Because I know the questions are going to be asked, let's take a quick look at the ballistics of these rounds. The Winchester Super X, you can see right there, muzzle velocity 2820, energy 2648. Let's compare that to the full metal jacket. All they provide is the muzzle velocity of 2756 and energy of 2448. So the advertised ballistics for the Winchester Super X are a little bit higher. We're gonna be shooting these rounds at milk jugs. My question is, how many milk jugs are each round going to go through? I think it's gonna be hard to catch the full metal jacket round. Just simply from experience, those full metal jackets start to tumble once they hit the jugs. It's really hard to catch them. I'm gonna do the best I can to shoot an absolute straight trajectory, see if we can catch the full metal jacket as well. I know we'll catch the soft point, but Take a second, pause, go down in the comments below, take a guess at the soft point, how many milk jugs you think it'll go through, and then the full metal jacket, how many jugs you think it'll go through, assuming we can catch it. But I'm gonna get set up, I'm gonna shoot the soft point first, then I'm gonna shoot the full metal jacket. It's also worth noting that the Winchester Super X is a 150 grain bullet. That's the Winchester Super X soft point. And the Monarch Full Metal Jackets are 145 grain bullets. I tried to get both exactly the same, wasn't able to find too many Full Metal Jacket rounds. The soft points, obviously hunting applications. The Full Metal Jacket has some military applications and simply target practice applications. If you know more information on the history of these rounds, feel free to comment below, educate me and everyone else watching this video. But let's get set up. I'm gonna shoot the soft points first. Also, this test is going to be done using a Ruger American rifle chambered in 308. All right, first shot here goes the Winchester Super X soft points. Let's see what happened. I really don't know yet. So, First jug that was on the ground is right there. So one, then we got two, second round, which there's a little bit of lead in there, if you can see. So second round lasted through. Third went through. And then fourth, it just skimmed it. So scratch that, we're gonna shoot it again. So the first Winchester soft points came out the side of one of the jugs so this is trial number two let's see what happened here we had one we had one two three here's an entrance right there is there an exit on the third there is an exit so for some reason we're having trouble catching these rounds but I'm gonna try it again here see if we can catch the bullet attempt number three with the soft points I don't know why I'm having trouble catching the bullet here but let's try it again I think we were finally able to after three tries catch that soft point let's see what happened we had seven jugs set up. First one's empty. Second one's ripped to shreds. Third one's empty. There's the fourth. Has an exit. The fifth has an entrance hole, but does not appear to have an exit hole, so the Winchester Super X looks like the bullet stopped in the fifth jug. Let's see if we can pour the bullet out here. The bullet should be in here. All 
Huh. Bullet's not in there. So, either which way. Wait a minute. Hold on. So the bullet, the fifth jug, had a hole knocked in it. You can see there. But it sounds like the bullet actually stopped in the fourth jug here. Interesting. Yep, there's the bullet. So the bullet stopped in the fourth jug, but actually had enough power to pop a hole through the fifth jug. 308 soft points went through four jugs and put a hole in the fifth. Let's see what we can do with that full metal jacket. I have a feeling it's gonna be really hard to not get it to veer out of the jugs, but I'm gonna do the best I can. All right, so we caught that. We caught the soft points in the fourth jug. Enough power to nick the fifth one. Let's see what happens with the full metal jackets. I think it's gonna be hard to catch the bullet, but we've got 10 jugs. We've got 10 jugs set up. Let's see what happens. So, we had 10 jugs set up. We've got four left standing. Number six had the side torn out of it. It looks like the bullet veered out right here. So I'm gonna set him up again, see if I can get it to go straighter. Hopefully we can see how many jugs to catch this bullet. All right, here goes full metal jacket, bullet catch attempt number two. 10 jugs, let's see if we can catch it. All right, so full metal jacket, bullet catch attempt number two. Let's see what happens. First jug blown through, number two blown through, number three blown through, number four. It looks like the bullet trajectory is getting a little bit higher. Came out the back, number five. In and out, number five. Number six, untouched. So I went through five and kept on going. And you know what? I'm gonna call it. Like I said, from experience, it's extremely hard to catch a full metal jacket. So what did we learn? If you're like me, you'd probably say a whole lot of nothing. But we were able to catch a soft point 308 in four gallons of water, nicked the fifth one. The sixth one, we were able to shoot straight enough to get it to go through six. So nothing new really. A full metal jacket is gonna travel further than a soft point bullet. We did get the full metal jacket to go further than the soft point, but we were unable to catch the bullet. Since we were unable to catch that full metal jacket, I wanna take another one and I'm gonna shoot it at a frying pot, which is right there, just to see what happens. We gotta shoot some more. 308 full metal jacket versus the frying pan. I can't tell if that went through or not. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, I can. It looks like it went through. But let's go check it out anyways. Went clean through the pan. Check that out. So, if your old lady's after you with the 308, don't try to put the frying pan over your heart. It's not going to stop the bullet. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for next time. Hootie hoo!